Crabs are decapod crustaceans of the infrorder Brachyura, with approximately 7,000 species in 98 families. The earliest unambiguous crab fossils date from the early Jurassic, with the oldest being Eocarcinus from the early Pliensbachian. It likely represents a stem group lineage, as it lacks several key morphological features that define modern crabs. Crabs are found in all of the world's oceans, as well as in fresh water and on land, particularly in tropical regions. About 850 species are freshwater crabs. Crabs are generally covered with a thick exoskeleton, composed primarily of highly mineralized chitin and armed with a pair of chelae or claws. Crabs vary in size from the pea crab, a few millimeters wide, to the Japanese spider crab, with a leg span up to 4 meters, 13 feet. Several other groups of crustaceans with similar appearances, such as king crabs and porcelain crabs, are not true crabs but have evolved features similar to true crabs through a process known as carcinization. Crabs often show marked sexual dimorphism. Males usually have larger claws, a tendency that is particularly pronounced in the fiddler crabs. Another conspicuous difference is the form of the pleon or abdomen. In most male crabs, this is narrow and triangular in form, while females have a broader, rounded abdomen. This is because female crabs brood fertilized eggs on their pleopods. Crabs attract a mate through chemical, visual, acoustic, or vibratory means. Pheromones are used by most fully aquatic crabs, while terrestrial and semi-terrestrial crabs often use visual signals, such as fiddler crab males waving their large claws to attract females. When fertilization has taken place, the eggs are released onto the female's abdomen, secured with a sticky material. When development is complete, the female releases the newly hatched larvae into the water, where they are part of the plankton. Each species has a particular number of zoeal stages, separated by molts, before they change into a megalopa stage, which resembles an adult crab, except for having the abdomen or tail sticking out behind. The last molt, from megalopa to juvenile, is critical, and it must take place in a habitat that is suitable for the juvenile to survive. Most species of terrestrial crabs must migrate down to the ocean to release their larvae, in some cases, this entails extensive migrations. After living for a short time as larvae in the ocean, the juveniles must do this migration in reverse. Crabs typically walk sideways, a behavior that spawned the term crabwise, because of the articulation of the legs which makes a sidelong gait more efficient. However, some crabs also walk forward or backward, including ranonids, Libinia emarginata, and Mctyrus platycheles. Some crabs, like the Matutidae and Portunidae, are also capable of swimming, especially the latter, so as their last pair of legs are flattened into swimming paddles. Crabs are mostly active animals with complex behavior patterns. Crabs tend to be aggressive toward one another, and males often fight to gain access to females. Crabs are omnivores, feeding primarily on algae, and taking any other food, including mollusks, worms, other crustaceans, fungi, bacteria, and detritus, depending on their availability and the crab species. Some species are more specialized in their diets, based on plankton, clams, or fish. Crabs are known to work together to provide food and protection for their family, and during mating season to find a comfortable spot for the female to release her eggs. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.